Hi, I'm Dave with Operation Eagle's Wings, honoring all who served and leaving no one behind. And it's a joyous day here in Redmond as members of the 3rd Battalion 116th are coming home to a jubilant community. Glad to see them home in one piece. With me today is Major Scott Curran with the uh, Army National Guard Unit in Bend. That's correct, 182 Cav Squadron. So which unit came home today and what was their mission overseas? Uh, three of the 116 Cavalry came home today. Uh, they're from Central Oregon up into Eastern and Northern Oregon. Uh, they were over in Iraq doing a security forces mission, that's what we call it. Uh, they're securing forward operating bases as well as uh, convoys that are transporting goods around the country. So after the celebration was over here at the airport and the soldiers are going back into the community, how can the community help? You know, really just be there for the soldiers, understand that they just came back. It takes a little while to adjust and kind of reintegrate into normal community life. Uh, if you see them, say thank you. That's probably the most important thing from my previous trips over. I really appreciated people just coming up and saying thank you. Uh, and, you know, just keep an eye on them, see if there's anything they need help them out if possible. And that can be anything, groceries, car repairs, anything. Absolutely. Any type of services are, are great. Uh, but again, you know, most important is just a thank you. Now, do they need kind of some debrief time to kind of depressurize uh, and so not overwhelm them with too much? Or is, is do we want to overwhelm them with all the hugs and pats we can? I would say uh, overwhelm them. Uh, and, you know, in that regard, overwhelm them. Uh, they did get almost two weeks up in uh, Seattle area at Fort Lewis. Uh, that was for them to kind of start the decompression period, and now they'll get terminal leave. They won't uh, be required to go to work for anywhere between 30 to 90 days uh, when they reintegrate back in their civilian jobs. So they should have plenty of time to adjust back into their, their normal life that they left back here. Now, I talked to some of these uh, individuals, some of the men, and one of them was a lifer. He plans on making this career. So typically in that situation, do they have like 90 days, 30 to 90 days with their family, then they go back into uh, service? Right, that's correct. There is 30 to 90 days for everybody. Somebody will fall, everybody will fall somewhere in that window. Uh, outside that, it just depends on how much time they decided to take when they came home on their mid-tour leave. Uh, there are a certain number of days, roughly 30, that they're going to get uh, based on the deployment, and however they use that's really up to them. Okay. Major Scott Karen, thank you for the service to your country. Yes. Appreciate it. I'm Dave Adams, Operation Eagle's Wings, honoring all who served and leaving no one behind.